Okay, so I'm going to go through the homework on my maths for rearranging two, year nines. So, two key things to remember. Always remember to get all of the x's on one side of the equation. That's your first port of call. And then uh, use factorising if you need to, if you've got more than one version of x and it's not easy to get rid of. So, I'll show you what I mean. First question. Okay, we've got 7x plus v equals 3x plus w. So if we can try and get rid of um, versions of v, in this case, take away v from both sides. And I'm going to try and do this in two steps in one, so hopefully you should be able to follow, I'll do different colours. At the same time, I'm going to try and get rid of this from this side and move it over here. Okay, so by taking 3x away, that again cancels that one. So let's see, let's write what we've got left. So we've got left over 7x take away 3x, 7x take away 3x, which is going to give me 4x, and the v obviously cancels. And then we've got 3x take away 3x is nothing, that's cancelled. And then I've got w take away 3v. So that's what I've got left. Okay. Once I've got to that point, I can then look to get rid of the 4 at the front. And all I'm going to do to do that is 4 times x. So I do the opposite and I divide by 4. Divide by 4. These two will cancel, just leaving me x. And that's going to give me v minus, uh, w minus v divided by 4. And that would be the answer that I would put in this. Okay. Question two. So we've got ax plus three equals eight x plus b. So again, we've got the x terms here. Now I can't get rid of the a at the minute, um, so I'm going to try and get rid of the eight x over to this side. Okay, I do want to get rid of the three again over this side. So I always do the opposite. I'm looking to do the inverse function. So that's a plus, so I'm going to minus it. Okay, and that's a plus 8x. So again, I'm going to minus it this time. Okay, minus 3. And again, minus 8x. So we can see the 3 cancels, the 8x cancels, and I'm just going to rewrite what I've got left. AX minus 8X equals B minus 3. So that's made it one step easier for me to use. And hopefully you can see here we've got an X term uh, in, in each of the two terms we've got. We've got A times X and we've got 8 times X. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that X out of the equation. So we're going to get rid of that x. Okay, so we're going to bring that x out, put a bracket in, and then we're going to write what we've got left. So if we've got that, we've got a minus 8. That's what we've got left. Equals b minus 3. That's exactly the same as the line above. These two are, uh, are ident identical. Okay, it's just written in a different format. So if I want x on its own now, I'm going to divide by, remember it's x multiplied by a and x multiplied by 8 minus 8. So to do the opposite I'm just going to divide by a minus 8 and I do the same thing this side and my x term then ends up being b minus 3 divided by a minus 8. So b minus 3 divided by a minus 8. Third question. Just going to work through it this time. Uh, not going to talk through it too much. Hopefully you're getting the gist of how these work now. So get rid of the w. And I'm going to get rid of the vx. 
again write what you see now that could be y plus w or it could be w plus y it doesn't matter which way around you write it uh, it's, it's correct either way the only thing I would say at this point is they do like to, it, it to be seen alphabetically it doesn't have to be but that is how they generally write it okay so now at this point again we've got the x term here so because we've got a common x term we're going to take the x term outside and if I take that outside what have I got left I've got 4 minus v get an x on its own w plus y divide by 4 minus v and remember I need to divide by 4 minus v because at the minute this is multiplying it so divide by 4 minus v and it's written as it is at the bottom there so x equals w plus v uh, plus y sorry uh, and it's 4 minus v question 4 again the same protocol this time what we're going to look to do because we've got a positive x over here if I bring this this way I'm going to have to be negative vx so I'm going to ha have to worry about negative x's and things like that I don't want to do that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it the other way so I'm going to take my wx across to my v so I'm going to take this term over this side plus wx and then I'm going to get rid of the 4 by taking it away. Again, so what you see, 7 take away 4 gives me 3. Vx, plus, uh, sorry, uh, 4 cancel. Vx plus Wx, so Vx plus Wx, and that's what I've got. Okay, again I've got my x term. So I'm now going to take my x term out and I'm left with v plus w. This side I've just got my 3 and then I can say divide by v plus w divide by v plus w. So x is equal to 3 over v plus w. Again, you could write w plus v. It doesn't matter. So 3 over v plus w. And it doesn't matter if the x is on the left-hand side of the equation or the right. Okay, last one. Now slightly more difficult or well, there's one more step to go we've got the two outside of the bracket so we're going to need to multiply this out first so we're going to expand the brackets first then we're going to um, simplify it and do what we need to so 2 times wx gives me 2wx 2 times minus v gives me minus 2v equals 3 times x gives me 3x and 3 times v gives me 3v. Okay, next stage. Same thing where we were, I'm going to get the x's onto one side. Now in this case again it doesn't necessarily matter which way you go, you can get the answer either way but I'm going to move the x this way this time. So I'm going to take away 3x, take away 3x. I'm then going to add 2v and add 2v. So again, say what you see. 
2 wx take away 3x the two v's cancel equals 3x take away 3x is cancelled and then I've got 3v plus 2v gives me 5v again I've got the same thing as what I had last time I've got my two x terms here so what that enables me to do is I'm going to take my x out what have I got left I've got 2w minus 3 equals 5v and the last step is I'm just going to divide by 2w minus 3 divide by 2w minus 3 so x is going to equal 5v divide 2w minus 3 and that's your answer for this question so 5v equals 2w minus 3 and that's the first section of the homework complete so let's go on to the second part Again, the same rules apply. We're trying to get the x's all on one side of the equation. Once we've got them all onto one side of the equation, in a form that we can use, at this point we can't do anything with this as it is because I've got x divided by x minus 3. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of the denominators of the fraction, see what I'm left with. So by doing that, I'm going to times both sides by x minus 3. So I'm going to times both sides of the equation by that. So I'll end up with y x minus 3 equals x because if I times this by this that's you just going to cancel it out. Okay. So by times in by the denominator in effect you just cancel in the denominator and leave in the, the numerator as it is. So, if I now multiply this out, I've got yx and minus 3y equals x. Again, I've just, um, uh, I've just expanded the bracket. Now you can see I've got yx and I've got minus 3y. Again, I've got to get the x's all on the same side. So I'm going to bring this one across. By bringing that across, I'm going to take away x, uh, yx, take away yx, and then just say what you see. Again, these cancel to leave me minus 3y. And on the bottom, on the left hand, uh, right hand side, sorry, I've got x minus yx. Again, we're at a similar point. We've got the x is a common factor so we're going to take out the x and then we're going to think what we've got left now at the minute that's 1x we don't write the 1 but it is 1x so if I take out that x what have I got left I've got 1 minus y yeah. equals minus 3y Oops. So, last stage of the workings, to get x on its own, x is going to equal minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. So x equals minus 3y divided by 1 minus y. Next. Uh, again I'm going to get rid of this bottom denominator by times in by exactly the same thing as what it is. This side I'm going to time by the same thing x minus 8. These two cancel leaving me x plus 1. This side I've got x times y which gives me xy and I've got x times minus 8 which gives me minus 8y. 
again try to get the X's on the same side um, again because I've got my positive X here I'm going to move this one so I've got minus 8Y because I'm going to take away an XY take away an XY these cancel this side I've got X minus XY plus 1 Okay, again I could get rid of that one at this point. So hopefully you can see there's a step there that I in effect I if you like I missed. I've now redone, so got rid of the the one. So I've got x minus xy and I've got minus eight y minus one. I've got my common factor again. So I'm gonna take that one out. And remember that's 1x so if I get rid of the x I've got 1 minus y equals 8y minus 1 and the last line of working minus 8y minus 1 divide by 1 minus y and again that's my answer Question three. Oops. Okay, we've got a bigger part of a denominator here. So again, if I times by the same thing, I can remove the whole part of that denominator all the way across. So I've got y times bx plus four equals a minus 2x. I'm going to expand the bracket which is just going to give me bxy. y times 4 just gives me 4y. Again it's exactly the same I've just expanded the bracket um, so both lines of those equate to exactly the same thing. So let's go to now um, trying to get the x's across. This side I've got a positive x value, this side I've got a negative. Because I want a positive value what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one across this way. So I'm going to plus 2x plus 2x Oops. Okay, I do want to get rid of that other value so I'm going to take away 4y and take away 4y. So again, say what I see, the 4y's cancel, the 2x's cancel, and I end up with bxy plus 2x equals a minus 4y. Hopefully you get to a point now you should be able to see we've got the same variable. So we're going to take our x out. What have I got left? By plus 2 equals a minus 4y. And again, the final line of the equation divide by plus 2, divide by plus 2. So my x equals a minus 4y, divide by by plus 2. And I'll leave it at that. So again, a minus 4y divided by by plus 2. Question 4, almost there. So again I'm going to try and do this without explaining too much. So hopefully you can see if we now times that out y times 8x gives me 8xy, y times negative 2, negative 2y. These cancel, 
and I'm just left with the numerator. Finally, next part. I want an x value. Again, this one's a positive value. This one is positive, so it doesn't matter which way I go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say put 7 minus 8xy. 7 minus 8xy. So again, say what you see, those cancel, and I'm left with 7 minus 2y, and I've got 6x uh, 6x minus 8xy. Okay. You can see I've got the same variable. So I'm going to take a common x value out. Take my x value out. What have I got left? 6 minus 8y equals 7. Last step. Divide by 6 minus 8y. So x is going to equal 7 minus 2y divided by 6 minus 8y. And the very last one, we've got w divided by 2 plus 8 divided by x equals 2. Now this one's slightly more diff yeah, slightly different because I, I've got my x in effect just in one equation. I haven't got them in, in two different terms. So I'm going to try and get rid of this term here. So get rid of it by just taking it away. I'm adding it to... 8 divided by x, so I'm just going to take away the whole term. So I'm left with 8 divided by x equals 2, take away w divided by 2. Okay. Now, uh, very common in trigonometry this is, uh, if you get the bottom of a fraction like we've got here, okay, and it's an x variable. What you can do to get x on its own is, if you multiply by x, and I'm going to do this in a, in a bit of a long-winded way, okay, and we times this side by x, I've just moved the x to the other side of the equation. So I've got 8, because these cancel, equals x times 2 minus w divided by 2. Okay, so because I've got that, I'm now going to get rid of the whole thing on the opposite side. Okay. So I could make it slightly easier because I've got part of a fraction. So if I divide this now, I could divide it down to 8 divided by 2 minus w divided by 2 equals x. But that doesn't look very neat because I've got a fraction within a fraction. Okay, so oops. so while I am going to go back a stage, okay, I'm going to go back to this stage just here. Okay back to that one. So I'm going to end up with 8 over x equals 2 minus w over 2. Okay, so I'm going to start it from that point. Now if I times the whole of this by 2, 
Okay. I'm going to times this side by 2, and that will be 2 over 1, thinking in fractional terms. And I'm going to times this side of the equation by 2 over 1. Okay. So 2 over 1 times this one straight across is going to give me 16 over x. 2 times 8 is 16, 1 times x is x. This side of the equation, I've got 2 times 2 gives me 4. I've got w times 2, which gives me 2w, and 1 times 2 gives me 2. Now the reason I'm doing this is because now the two 2's here, if I've got 2 w's and I divide it by 2, I'm just left with 1 w. So I can cancel the fraction. So I've got 16 over x equals 4 minus w, which is going to finish a nice uh, a nice uh, looking sum as opposed to a fraction within a fraction. So if we're going to do that last stage now, I've got this one and I've got this and in effect we can swap these around. So it ends up being 16 over 4 minus w equals x. Answer would be 16 4 minus W. And that's the homework complete.